Simon. Fire away, mate. Hi, Pat. Um, you've said that you're in the same situation with COVID as all other teams. Um, Thomas Tuchel thinks that Chelsea have suffered more than you. Virgil van Dijk said that City were luckier with COVID in December than Liverpool were. Uh, just wondered what you thought when you heard your competitors saying that about you. What is it? I take it you don't agree with them. No, I said what I said before. So is a situation is all around the world. We have injuries. We have COVID. We had, and maybe we didn't say which ones, how many, but the players want respect. The club decide don't do it, but we had a lot, a lot of players with COVID. A lot, a lot of people in backroom staff with COVID. So. And in the biggest season, we have a lot of incredible tough injuries with our players. So, uh, so what, what can I say? So it's not about uh, would they believe we are lucky? Okay, we are lucky. Yeah, thank you. What can I say? I think the pandemic is all around the world and everywhere there is a virus. We are exposed every single day, every single minute to get it. So we are not an exception. So you you don't think COVID's been a big factor in you pulling away from Chelsea and Liverpool in the title race then? No. If they believe is the reason why, maybe. So it's open, maybe. Sometimes it's the money that we have, sometimes it's the COVID. So I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Thanks. Jack? I obviously, we don't know how many new positive cases there there have been this week. Was there any was there any chance of the of you asking for the game tomorrow to be postponed? No. Where we were thirteen or fourteen players, I think thirteen players the first team in the, in the last game in a, in the FA Cup in the previous one. We were eleven in Aston Villa, eleven players to the keeper. So to Aston Villa and the other was the academy, and we, we played. We didn't postpone it. So, but this is for the for the you know for the for the Premier League decision. So not for us. So the other clubs, <laughs> I don't know the situation. Would you um would you do everything everything possible to get to to make sure you played the games, even if you dropped beneath or below the. 13 players plus a goalkeeper because obviously quite a lot of the other clubs have had games postponed but if you had to go with say I don't know 10 first team players and and the kids would you just make sure you got that game played we try to play you have 11 or 12 players and off we play so <coughs> because we have Cole Palmer we have uh, McAtee and other players and we try to play we never ask because we have enough players when we have maybe eight or nine Maybe they will ask, oh, we have eight or nine players. And I don't know how it doesn't count. Is it just COVID or just injuries? With injuries, is all the time would happen. So I don't know the, the standards or the, the rule about the Premier League when it's called off or cancelled for which reason. So, but in many cases, we have just in these games 12 players available, the first team with keeper. And we played. So that's all. Cheers. Paul? Hiya, Pep. Um, sorry to continue on the theme of COVID, but I, how many training sessions have you been able to take this week with the squad? Me? Yeah. One. Just one. Right. Cool. And Is that good news for the player? Pardon? Is that good news for the player? <laughs> they get the week off, yeah. We, um, we, we will play great tomorrow. You will see. <laughs> Do you have like a plan in place for, for like a contingency plan for that to happen, you know, with the other coaches? Because uh, obviously we've had COVID for two years. Has that, had, has that been a plan you've had in place just in case you've you've got COVID? So the other coaches know what they've got to do. I understand. I didn't listen so much while uh, Paul. Yeah, I didn't Sorry. listen. Oh, uh, well, no. um, do the coaches... Sorry. Do the other coaches already have a plan to do the training sessions or are you kind of involved in them as well, like remotely, when you've got... Yeah, the other? plan was uh, was done. Yeah, uh, We were in touch by Zoom, uh, preparing with the training session, what was, uh, review the training sessions, yeah, have time at home to review games. 
you know, being a solid and, and of course, Rodo and the other guys, Loren, Carlos, they did a, you know, they, we know each other for six years. So just when a one eye contact, we know exactly what you have to do, what we want to do. So that's all. So no problem. And of course, the players behave, behave well in, in Sweden. So yeah, come back as a manager, but uh, you know, I'm not here. I don't play, so at the end, it's not important. I always have to play. Were you impressed with what you saw at Swindon, given that the, the you had quite a number of players out? Yeah, I think, I think a cup away always is uncomfortable, always. Freezing, they told me. Uh, the team had courage to play, but uh, yeah, always we can do better things. But uh, yeah, we solved it. We solved it uh, proper and... Uh, we start really well the game before the goal call and the other one they have one or two chances. So yeah, they were there. They were there like always we have been. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. James Tucker. Hi, Pat. Um, <laughs> the, the, you know, there's plenty of people who would who would say that the three strongest teams in Europe not right now are the three teams at the top of the of the Premier League. Can you can you describe just what it's taken for your team to be ten points clear at the top, given the given the competition Chelsea and Liverpool provide, and the Premier League in general? It seems in this season of all seasons a quite extraordinary lead at this stage of the season to have. Well, but the Premier League is the the strongest one. That I'm, I'm agree with many many of this opinion. So I think Bayern Munich, Real Madrid right now, and PSG, of course, for the quality the players that they have, is in, are involved in the best teams. So the fact that we are here is because we are consistent in the toughest month, in November, especially December, where there are many games and 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 how we overcome the, the toughest situations that we had in uh, in the squad with the problems we had in injuries and, and COVID and. And we got results when we play good, really good. And we were not play much good. Like, for example, Arsenal game, we were able to win. So I'm consistent. This is the reason why. So no more secrets. But be, saying that, my opinion about, you asked me about Liverpool and Chelsea, don't change one, sec, one step back or one instant for the fact that you are right now, because it's just in January, in disadvantage, don't change my opinion about them. And they are non-excellent, more than excellent teams. So one is the champion of Europe. The other had been the biggest rival in the last two, three, four seasons with Man City. And they maintain the quality. So if you have them tell me one month ago, one month ago, you would be in this position 10 points clear or eight points clear, just in case Liverpool beat a bit leads. So I would say impossible. So because I couldn't expect they drop points and I could not expect Due to the situation that many many problems that we had a month ago, um, be in that position, but it's permanent. So the change so quick. Football is always. I remember that we were four zero the half time in twenty minutes. We we're four three yeah. against list. So everything changed so quick. So, and what you have to do is rise, <laughs> rise, or increase a little bit our football comparing the last two days to games that we played. And tomorrow we we'll have to do it if we wanna if we wanna compete against this team. Have you have you have you played in a have you managed <laughs> in a league before Pep where you have two rivals that are that strong? I mean, in the past you've obviously had one clearly with Liverpool and with with Real Madrid and things at Barcelona. But have you have you played as a manager? Have you had a league where two opponents? Well, well, in, <clears throat> in Barcelona always was Madrid a little bit Atletico. In that period when I was there, Atletico was not like was before, after, worse. But uh, always was Barcelona, Madrid. In, in Bayern was, yeah, Dortmund. And here, yeah, the last years was uh, was um, was Liverpool and ourselves. Now this season is, is Chelsea. But I have to say that this because Liverpool and Man City was exceptional. Not because the other ones do it wrong, because United was close with a... I remember one year with Mourinho and last season, especially with Ole Solskjaer. So they were really good, but we were exceptional. So what, what Liverpool and Man City has done in the last three, four years, it was 
never seen before in this country, never ever. So a rise in more than 90 points to be champions. When before with 78, 80, 82, 86, 87. I think Antonio Conte was with, with, with Chelsea started a little bit when they won the league, my first year season here. But after Liverpool and City make step. So and I think they did well, the other opponent, Chelsea, United, and Tottenham. They did well, but Liverpool and City were out of this world. And and I'm proud, I said many times, I'm proud after six seasons together, five years of success in January, in middle of January, still we are there, you know, in every single game competing. Because I repeat many times what happened after being champion the next season of the last 10 champions. Take a review. The last 10 champions, what happened to the champions the next season? They drop, but drop massively. And we are there. And that is incredible credit. Credit and credit to these exceptional players. But my job is put uh, my words behind them and tell them the truth. And, and that's why we have to continue to do it. James? Uh, Martin Blackburn. <coughs> yeah, hi Pep. Um, you've won another uh, Manager of the Month award today. I know you normally don't like talking about it too much, but uh, it was a great month, wasn't it, December? Martin, this is the easiest wor- award ever. So, match points you do in a month is the Manager of the Month. So it's yeah. simple. No. Yeah. And the reason we won is not the manager, are the players all the time. Yeah. You've you've won in eleven though now, Pep. I think only. Wenger and Ferguson have won more than you, so uh, is that something for you to be proud of? Be careful, Sir Alex. Arsene, yeah. I'm coming. Be he won, careful. He won 27, <laughs> Pep, so uh, not not too many. To How get. many? 27. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> that belongs to them. <laughs> yeah. To him. You're not going to catch that now. I will not chase him for sure. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Uh, <coughs> last one then from Mike Minet. <coughs> Yeah, hi Pep, back again. Just wondering, as, as such a workaholic that you are, did you enjoy the week off last week? Did you enjoy watching from the sofa or did you miss being on the touchline? No, no, I didn't enjoy it. I like to be at home, but I don't like to be, you know, compulsory to be at home. So, But it happened, so it happened all around the world. Everyone got it. So many managers, many players. So the virus is all around the world. Uh, here in City, in Etihad Stadium, so run as well. But you didn't relax with a the beer then and enjoy the game? Yeah, of course. Of course, at the end, in this period, I missed just one. Hopefully, I cannot get it again. The same that I play as the staff and yeah, continue our job as I would like. Okay? Absolutely. Thank you, Mike.